Alright, you are watching this video because you're doing some grant work on top of your normal duties. The intention of this video is to explain how to fill out your timesheet so you can get yourself paid. And I understand if you're like me, you're thinking, is it really worth all this paperwork to get the $53.21? And uh, I guess the answer is yes, because this isn't going to be very hard. Hopefully after this video, this will be a pretty easy process. So, this is what you have to do. If you're a bi-weekly employee, this is how you do it. One, you're going to fill out this form on the left over here. This is called the time and effort form. You're going to print this thing up and you're going to give it to whoever manages your grant. This is going to be the hardest thing to fill out. Once you have this thing filled out, the easy part is going to be to fill out electronic timesheets on the rock. Those will be done entirely online. You won't have to print anything or sign anything. You just click some buttons. But first, let's start with this time and effort report right here. I'm going to make up a scenario. Let's say that you're teaching two classes. You're teaching a three credit, uh, we'll say Monday, Wednesday class, and we'll say you're teaching a four credit Tuesday, Thursday class. Okay, let's take a look at this timesheet. So you put your name up here, you put your S number up here, that's pretty easy. What you want to do is click this box and pick the appropriate pay period. We're not even close to the right date here. Um, I'll just make up a date. Let's say we're in the middle of the semester. We'll do the period ending on the 18th. Now, everything on this left side here is going to be your normal duties. Say, just teaching your classes, all that kind of stuff. Any work you do for the grant is going to go over here on the right side. So let's start over here on the left side, and I'll show you how to put in your information. Uh, you have an org code. If you're in the math department, that's 111. 635, whatever your department's org code is, is going to go over here. And in my scenario, I'm teaching a three credit Monday, Wednesday class. So this is what you do. That three credit class meets for an hour and 15 minutes twice a week. You're actually going to round that up to one and a half hours, and you're going to multiply that number by two. That's going to get you three. So what you're going to do is every Monday and Wednesday over here, when this three credit class meets, you're going to enter three hours. Oops. Every Monday and Wednesday, you're going to enter three hours of work. And you're probably wondering, why are we rounding up and then multiplying by two? Well, that's the calculation that we do to account for the total amount of work that you do. That includes, say, meetings with students, uh, preparation for class, and grading. Because there are so many different types of classes, there's a good check to make sure that you got the right number of hours on your timesheet. So this was a three-credit class. If you go down to the bottom of your timesheet, whatever number of total hours you put in for that class over this two-week period, that should be four times the number of credits you have here. Let's do the same thing for our four-credit Tuesday-Thursday class. So the four-credit Tuesday-Thursday class actually meets for an hour and 40 every week. We're going to round that up to two, and we're going to multiply that by two. That's going to give us four. You might notice a pattern with these normal classes that meet twice a week. Uh, the number of hours you're putting in is the same as the number of credits for that course. So let's do our check. We have a total of seven credits that we're teaching this semester on this bi-weekly sheet. We should have seven times four hours added up on this section. That would be 28 hours. Yes, so it looks like we did it right. I know that there are lots of different types of classes here, but the general check is that every two weeks of work, you take your number of credits that you're teaching, you multiply it by four, that should be down there with the normal full semester scenario. If you happen to be teaching classes from two different departments, you just put those two different org codes in there and you put in your corresponding hours for those classes. But once you have that part finished, this left side of the sheet is completely done. All you have to do now is put in your org code for the grant that you're working on, which varies, so you'll have to get that. And then you put in your hours that you worked. So, I don't know, say you worked three hours on Monday, October 7th, and you worked four hours on this day, and I'll say we worked one hour here, and that's it. It looks like you worked eight hours uh, on the grant. Now, you'll notice that everything's kind of adding up. 
both of those columns add up to your total biweekly number of hours. Now here's a rule for you. Your total number of hours on your biweekly timesheet should average to no more than 56 hours. So this number right here, total number of hours that you're working over the biweekly period, should not exceed 56 hours on average.